At the time of shooting this video, Hurricane Barrel has already come through. There are tons of people with that power, over 2 million people right now, which is pretty insane. Tons of trees have fallen over, leaves all over the road. It is crazy madness out there, flooding, of course, but that's not going to stop us from shooting this video. This is gonna be latest Ido release, so let's take these out of their packages and see what it's all about. So we've got two here. We've got the Black Liberty Walk Coca-Cola version, and then we've got this Numino Reserve livery on this one, also the Liberty Walk. So this is their latest release with this setup. There's also one with the teal Numino Reserve that's also released as a special event model. And then there's also that nice purplish chrome one that was also a special event model that you could only get in Malaysia, which I've already talked about in another video. Packaging looking exactly the same. The only difference is the accent for the livery there, which has the black black, red, and yellow stripe. And then this one's gonna be all just black and white. So some of the things to notice on this packaging is it does have the FD3S RX-7 logo on there, but it's also got this pretty cool Liberty Walk logo right here, as you can see, and the Liberty Walk silhouette works there. So let's slide this bad boy out. Uh, you've got that card in the back, of course, uh, which is a nice little backdrop. And then here, you've got the car. Pop that bad boy open, and then here we go. Oh, whew. this thing looks absolutely amazing to be honest uh, for this setup they've got this detail looking really nice for the front bumper you can see that it's got the latest liberty walk front bumper there you got the fender gills there the widened fender uh, moving on to the side you can see all the graphics sponsorship decals you can also see that this thing is slammed part of the setup for this car is that it does come with an error suspension system uh, and then rocking these super aggressive wheels this one's going to be the multi-spoke looks like gun metal centers with polished lip. You can see the tire sticker right there too, which is a nice added touch. And then you can see it's got the side view mirror here. You've got the side skirt here with that lines up with the front and the rear widened fender. This is an actually insane conversion for an RX-7. And if you wanna do this swap uh, in real life, it's gonna cost you about, I think it's $25,000 or $27,000 to buy the body kit from Liberty Walk. So a lot of the guys overseas obviously jumping on the bandwagon but I'm not sure how many there are in the US, although I have seen some versions of this setup already. The rear end, you can see Liberty Walk always doing the super aggressive diffusers. Uh, it's got the nice little JDM3 circle tail lights there. It's got this ultra high wing. It's got the logo on there. So this thing's looking pretty sweet, uh, pretty creative with the livery option on this one too. Really nice to see NO64 being faithful to the one that exists. So with that said, let's move on to the black one. Uh, black one, pretty similar setup, so let's just start removing it now. Same exact setup, except what? This thing is all black. Uh, not only that, this one's going for the Coca-Cola type of livery. And believe it or not, NO64 does actually have the Coca-Cola license uh, as seen on previous versions of some of their releases. So starting with the front, it's got the same front bumper, same exact body kit, guys, so nothing different. This one's just going for a more simpler look, all black with the Coca-Cola logo on it. Uh, this one does also have a different set of wheels which are actually gold with a polished lip something else i forgot to mention is that it does have this aftermarket hood right here that's vented uh, for the v-mount and then inside the red interior with the red bucket seats the red roll cage you can see a little bit of it in there really nice with the black uh, the white one also had the red bucket seats but the roll cage was yellow in that in this case as you can see right there it's yellow okay so moving on to the back very similar setup same diffuser same body kit same wing nothing different there and with all that said if you guys were to choose between these two fantastic little models from no 64 which one would it be